During yesterday's video, we tackled building the built-ins for the washer and dryer. We got the countertop all cut and our side pieces on ready to be painted. But today we want to build the under cabinet that's going to go for the heavy apron sink that's going to be the utility sink for the pantry room. Last night before bed, I insisted before the rain hit that we could cut some of the pieces that we needed for this cabinet to be built and kind of assembled. So I'm going to do that first. Then we're going to brace up that heavy, heavy sink. Because I have the cut up here, yeah, that's my toe kick. And this is the only space I have here to be able to put pocket jigs because I had to have a cut out for the plumbing that was there. So this side, we're gonna put a couple extra screws just for some extra support. But I have compensated to make some additional support for underneath in the middle, just because I knew that that space wouldn't have the extra support on that back corner because of the plumbing. didn't have to get such a big air compressor, we wouldn't be waiting so long for the air to build up. So you put the three hours later. If it happens. I must have even grabbed this scrap piece because it was the same with thinking that that was the piece that was going to go. I just want this somewhere approximately in the middle. It's just going to be a little bit of an extra support. support brace. I can't wait to see the sink. I think it's just going to finish up this wall and make it look all complete. I'm excited. Or put together. At least you can see the vision then. Yeah, because can say, oh, the sink's gonna go there, but until there's a cabinet there, the sink can't go there. <laughs> and this was a little bit trickier than just building a regular cabinet, just a base cabinet, because we had to make the modifications for all the plumbing that's behind. Yeah, well, it's an old house, so there's slat walls in behind drywall with plaster that if you just start digging into, it's just no point. It's so just the lack and plaster behind, and then they have that shiplap. Shiplap, wainscoting, kind of, I'm not even sure, tongue and groove. All right, at least your ears are pulling with truth. <laughs> Does it fit? Will it fit? Yeah, but I can't get the bottom corner. I'm gonna have to smooth this ball before I hit you it. You're going in on an angle. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying not to do. That's what's stopping me. <laughs> Listen to me. Hey, hon, you're going in a little bit to the left there. Oh, a little bit That's to the right thing. now. You miss this vibe. <laughs> yeah. Maybe a piece of wood and some love taps. Well, I'm trying not to. I don't want it to go and then hit the plumbing. There you go. Look right under the plumbing. Like I'm still moving. Now that I'm sweating, trying to get the wall. I don't want to hit the tile. Right. Don't break the tile. Last time, this, you said don't break a tile. Oh, I God. jinxed him and he broke the tile. It's okay, that tile needed to go anyways. All of the screws we're finding in the house that are not in use are so bent, that's why they ended up leaving them, obviously. So they didn't want to do the work of taking them out. <laughs> well, and they're so old that usually the holes are already stripped anyways. So just driving them out isn't even an option. Did it? Yeah. I loosened it for you. <laughs> You're welcome. 
Thanks. Now my cabinet will fit. Yay. Win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win. All right. Now let's test my building. My building measurements now. All right. Get that cabinet in there. That was like the move that bus. <laughs> Oh, wow, fancy, it fits now. Oh, so Look sweet. Look at it, my cutouts fit perfect for the plumbing. All right, all right. All right. Not bad. Okay. I was so tired at the end of the day yesterday, but I was like, I am not going to bed until I make these cuts, because I thought it was going to storm this morning. The sun is out, but it was still worth it to get it done last night. <laughs> <laughs> the next two days, storm. I think you're going to... Okay, but I have to cut this. Okay. To the size. Yeah. To fit in. Right. That's no bad. In order to get the proper measurement for the width and the depth of the countertop, we need to make sure we can measure right to the wall. These are going to come off and we're not going to want to chip those off once this porcelain sink is here. And then we still have some more to take off on this side, which we're just going to chip away at literally. Um, but these ones I want to get off so that we can put the countertop there. So these obviously the same both sides. And then once we have the piece cut, we can cut out for the shape. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow on golden, 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 golden thing. flush with the wall. Okay. Now I don't want to cut it with the sink hole. <laughs> oh my god, that's nice. That's a nice height. It looks great. We are at the point right now before we cut the hole for the sink in the countertop, which is oh so nerve wracking. We are creating the support base, which will house the actual weight of this really heavy apron sink. Yeah, this apron sink is super heavy, yeah. The one in the kitchen from Ikea wasn't that heavy. It was just kind of awkward because it was a double basin, but this is a single basin one and it is like thick like a bathtub and it weighs like, oh, weighs like bathtub weight it's incredibly heavy in fact the guy that delivered it couldn't get it from the van to the house <laughs> oops sorry it will be so lovely to have a utility sink where the laundry is and then also to be able to use it for you know more messier things that we'll do in the pantry room sorry. <laughs> I was thinking like if we were rinsing berries or we're doing something that's super messy, then you can use this sink for that messier stuff and then keep the nice fresh white farmhouse one that's not for utility in the kitchen. Yeah, you wanna go feed the ducks. Yeah, and you fill up a metal bucket. It's just nicer to do it in here than to put it in the sink in the kitchen. Our sink is 10 inches deep and we want it to be flush with the top of the countertop at the end. And so we subtracted the top of the countertop to the height of the sink. <laughs> and we're making marks here where our side braces are going to go so that we can put a bracket basically on the inside. And the purpose of doing it this way, so we're gonna have one of these on both sides and then a two by four across and a two by four across. We can't obstruct where plumbing is gonna go to attach the drain of the sink to the rough end that's there. And we don't want to put something large for holding the weight of the sink in the inside because then we'll take up any storage space. So we're making sort of like a floating shelf bracket that can hold the weight of the sink, keeping in mind that at some point the sink could also be completely filled with water and it is an incredibly heavy sink. So let's test the weight requirements. <laughs> I tested this, I did my own engineering and I know this is gonna work for sure. Hands down, we got this.
every evening now by the end of the day of working and building and making progress in the kitchen, pantry, laundry room space. I just stand at the doorway and look at the progress that we've made that day. And although it's like increments, when you guys see it online, this is really just like real life how long it takes to do these types of projects. And we want to show you really just the whole progress of going through this whole journey of fixing up the house. I'm thrilled that my vision of how I'm hoping that this laundry space in this utility room is going to turn out. We do have painting to do and cupboard doors to build and framing and hole fixing and shelf building and upper cabinet building. Like we have lots to go even just in this little space right here. We have this whole room to work on, but having the base of the cabinet and getting the sink into the place that it's going to go and just the washer and dryer hookups and the rough-ins for plumbing, it's just like those huge milestones make such an impact in our daily life getting things accomplished in addition to making obviously progress in the appearance of what the house looks like. Okay, so farmhouse sink was a dream and a little overkill for laundry. It's a really pretty sink for a utility room. <laughs> it's amazing. But it's I'm made really... out of like, honestly, like the porcelain like bathtub material. And so I know that it's going to wash really well. I went with the gold drain, just like you guys told me was an absolute must in the kitchen space. And it matches the faucets and drains and hardware and everything that we're doing yeah. in the kitchen room. And then this is the sink faucet and knobs that are going to go. So we have the cold turning knobs, a little bit different than the kitchen, but it still has the gooseneck shape. And so it's going to go here in the middle. These will go kind of on either side, obviously. So we're matching that same thing that we're doing for the theme through the kitchen, for all of the hardware into this pantry room. And then the cabinets that will be at the bottom will just be the small cabinet doors with the face frames with the gold handles as well. So we're gonna tie that all in together, which is why I had to take away the chrome and do the gold on the washer and dryer and I'll be honest, I have zero regrets. <laughs> I look at it through the doorway every day now when I walk in, I'm like, yep, yep, that was the right call. And I'm not gonna go gold crazy in here, but the hardware and those few little accents are gonna make a huge difference in the long run of the finished look. And in my head, I can see it all coming together and it's taking shape the way that we're hoping that it would. We still obviously need to finish and chip away at doing the stenciling going all the way across, remove the rest of the tile on the side here, and then any wood that you see that's raw right now will be white. Right. So it's going to be really tied in and look like a custom cabinet put away. We're going to have some open shelving as well as some uppers here as well. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Thank you so much for cheering us on with this series. We're having a blast working on this large space, which is kitchen walk into this pantry room. It's a huge undertaking, but we're getting there. We love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow.